Hey guys, I have a review here from a candle from 1803 Candles is the name of the candle company. I had never heard of this candle company, but I had a friend of mine who told me about these candles. She also subscribes to my channel and she told me about these candles. She had purchased one at a store here in Parkville, Missouri, which is very close to where I live in Kansas City, Missouri. It's about 15 minutes uh, west of where I live. She purchased one at an antique, antique store there in Parkville, Missouri, and she knew that I'd had been having a lot of problems with throws on my candles, so she said she had really good luck with the one that she bought, and she thought that maybe I might want to check them out. So she said you can, she bought them at that store, and then you also can buy them online at 1803 Candles, I can't remember exactly the website, it might be 1803, 1803candles.com or might. I think that's what it is. If you Google it, it'll pop up. And so I checked them out, and they had a bunch of different scents online. Um, I think the one that she got was called, I think, Nutty Pumpkin Waffles, I think is the one she got. And then uh, she got another coffee scent, which hers was called Perfect Morning. And this one I got here is called Perfect Evening, which is also a coffee scent. Uh, I will read the description here. Um, the description is pretty much just right on the label in the front. It says, Perfect evening. A candle in the window serves as a guiding light for friends and family as they approach the homestead. Spice cake and coffee keep warm on the wood stove. So when I smelled this candle, I immediately liked it because I love coffee scents and candles. And I've had quite a few few, well, not quite a few. I've probably had, I think about three, let's see. Yeah, I think three different coffee candles that I, well, no, wait, four. I've had, I think the first one I ever had was Yankee's Hazelnut Coffee, and that one was good. I liked it. Um, and then I had Bath and Body Works Espresso Bar, and then the repackaged one that they had the last time, which was, I forget the name of it. But it was a repackage of the espresso bar just this last Christmas. And then I liked that one too. I liked it at first more. The last repackage, it wasn't as good to me. It was, it has a good coffee scent, but it's not like a, a complete, pure, authentic coffee scent to me. It has a little bit more chocolate kind of mixed in there a little bit. And then I also tried Crossroads Roasted Espresso. That one was nice. I did like that one a lot, but this I had problems with the scent throw on that one. It was good at times, and then... Sometimes I couldn't smell very well, um, so I don't know if I got kind of a dud with that one, but I did like that one. That one was, was nice, but out of all the ones I tried, I think the best one I had was this one I got at Hallmark, and I don't even remember the brand name. It was just in a coffee cup. The candle was in an actual little coffee cup. It actually had a really good, strong coffee scent. Like It just smelled just like coffee pure coffee beans and that just really good coffee smell. I love that one. I have never been able to find it since. I so wish I would have like, that was kind of really before I started getting a lot into candles and I really wish I would have like wrote that name down so I could like try to look that candle up. I don't think it was like a big candle company or anything, but that candle was super strong and it was really, really good. Just a, such a good coffee scent. So when I smelled this one, I'm like, okay, I really want to try it because I love coffee scents and I've been trying to find a really good one again that I really really like as well as the one that I got at Hallmark. So I perked this one up. They had I ended up going to that antique store in Parkville that my friend went to because I figured I would just get one there and then if I liked it then I might later purchase some online. The ones online are a little bit more expensive though. This one here I paid $12.95 for for this candle and I don't know the exact let me look here. Okay, I just looked at the bottom. It is 14 ounces for this one. So I paid $12.95 for 14 ounces. And online, I believe they were anywhere from 18 up to $28, just depending on the size you get. Um, I think this one might have been somewhere in between 18 and 28. I think it was higher than 18. It might have been like 20 something, maybe, I'm not for sure. So that's pretty expensive. I, I probably would never pay that much for that candle unless it was on sale because that's just a lot to me. But I was willing to pay the twelve ninety five for for it at the store. But the only problem is that the store is they don't have very limited selection. At least at the store I went to, 
Um, I'm, different stores might have more, and I think this one actually did have more, but she said they only had a few left. They had like two of these perfect evenings, and they had a perfect, um, not perfect morning. That was the one my friend got. They had um, some kind of citrus one. They had a couple of those. And, no, actually, I think they did have the perfect morning, and I did like that one too, but I like this one just a little bit better. I, it just smelled a little bit stronger, like a, a original coffee scent to me. So I wanted to pick this one out. And we'll start off with the burn on this before I talk about the scent and the throw. The burn has been pretty good on this. I really have had no problems for the most part. I'll show you here. It's got a nice wax pull. It's a one wick candle. It's got a good wax pull. And you can see the flame the only thing with this is the flames have been getting really thick. The wick is really thick and it gets really a big mushroom top on it and the flame gets pretty high. So I have to blow this out quite a bit and trim that wick and you can see the wicks have has fallen down on the bottom. I know a lot of people don't like it when the wick falls down at the, into the wax. That doesn't really bother me that much. I don't think it really affects the scent so much at all. So I don't really care if the wick falls down in there. Sometimes when I trim it, it just falls down in there and I don't even worry about trying to get it out. But surprisingly, it hasn't got that much soot, even though it's been getting pretty big mushroom tops on it and I have to trim it, there's not been hardly any soot at the top of it. So that's a good thing. But um, it's been doing really good at burning. It, it pulls out within an hour or so. So the burn has been really good. I have no problems with the burn. Just you need to keep on top of trimming that wick. And we will talk about the scent next. The scent, I really enjoy this scent. It's really a really good coffee scent. And it's just really nothing else with it. It says spice cake in the description, but I don't really get much of a spice cake scent at all, really. I pretty much just get a coffee. It just tastes like pure ground coffee that you would smell. Not any kind of sugary cream or uh, mocha, chocolate, nothing like that. Just coffee. And that's what I love when it's just plain coffee. I mean, I like the ones that have, you know, mocha and stuff sometimes, but I, it's nice just to have one just, just pure coffee because I love the smell of pure coffee. So this one, I don't get much anything but just pure coffee. And the throw on this candle. The throw has been actually really, really good. I'm very happy with this candle. When I first lit it, I could immediately smell it, and it was filling the whole bedroom up very nicely. I did move it into the living room and it wasn't as strong in the living room because it's, I do have an open concept living room so it takes a lot to make the open concept living room you know sent up with a candle. But I could smell it in there but it was much stronger in the bedroom and it's just I could actually even when I had it back into the bedroom one night I was with my husband on the couch and I could smell it all the way up into the living room and that doesn't happen too much. I'm like, I think I can smell that candle. It wasn't a whole lot, just a couple of whiffs I got one night. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. I can smell it all the way up here. So I, I've actually been pretty happy with this candle overall. So I think I would definitely be willing to try out um, different scents with, for, with them. But like I said, I don't think that I would want to pay the prices that they have online unless they had a sale because I don't, you know, I rarely pay 18 or more. I never pay more than like $13 for a candle because for Yankee I only get them on their sale at the friends and family for like eleven twenty, or um, the buy one get one or buy two get one and then that's thirteen ninety nine. and then Bath and Body I only do it when they're on sale for two for twenty four or twelve dollars so you know I rarely pay, pay more than twelve or thirteen for a candle so I would never pay like eighteen something for a candle so I would either go back to the store and see if they had more sense or wait until they had to sell online. So anyway, I want to do this review real quick because I had posted it in on Facebook about these candles and some people were curious about them. So I was going to do a review and let you guys know what I thought. But I've been pretty pleased with this candle. I definitely would uh, purchase more of these. So if I see them on sale online or I might stop by the store and check it. You might check in your area online or I don't know online if they have um, a section where you can see if they sell them anywhere near you or what, but, um, yeah, I would check them out. I've been pretty happy with this. It's real. They're really good candles. I, I'm enjoying it. So thanks for watching this review and please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you've ever tried any of these and how, if you've liked them and 
I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.